Hello everybody, welcome to our lesson. Today we'll solve a problem on the topic the magnetic force between current carrying parallel conductors. This is the goal of the lesson. At the end of the lesson you'll be able to use and calculate the Ampere's force law. Now, before we start, it will be useful to recall the topic from the last lesson. We know that if two currents, two current carrying conductors are close to each other, they will feel a force of attraction or a force of repellent. And the magnitude of that force can be calculated using this equation. So this is the first problem. Let's write the given. We know that the current of the first wire is 1 ampere, current of the second wire is 2 ampere, the length of both wires are equal and it's equals to 0 0.5 meters, 50 centimeters and we also know that the distance between these wires is 0 0.1 meter. Now, we need to find the magnetic force between them. So, we have a wires which has currents in the opposite direction. You know from the previous lesson, if currents are opposite, the forces will be repellent force. This is F2, this is F1. And also, we can say that these forces is equal to each other because lengths are equal. Now, let's calculate the magnitude of this force. This is the equation. That's it. All we need to do is just put the numerical values into the equation. Multiply to distance 0 0.1 and the length is 0 0.5. So pi will be cancelled. We have 2 here and also we have here 5. Now Let's calculate two multiplied to two. It is four and multiplied to five, 20. And 10 minus seven. I can write like this, 10, 10 minus six. So this was the simple problem, now let's go to this problem, second problem. Now we have not two wires, we have three wires here and first of all let's write the given. Current of the first wire is 2 ampere, current of the second wire is 1 ampere and of the third is 3 ampere. We know the distance between first and second uh, wires, it's 4D, and between the second and third wire, it's D. And also we know that 
force of the second wire exerted from the first wire is 10 newtons and we need to find a net force exerted on the second wire so using the first right hand rule we can illustrate the magnetic field lines this is for the first wire and for the second wire the same field because direction of the current is identical with the first wire but the third wire has opposite fields because the direction of the current is opposite now looking into the equation what do we see we see that between first and second wire we have a attraction force and between second and third wire we have a repulsive force so you see that two forces are directed to the same direction that's why I can say that net force must be F21 plus F23 and F21 is equal to mu0 i1 i2 over 2 pi d multiplied to L. The lengths of three wires are equal. So mu0 multiplied to 1 ampere multiplied to 2 amperes over 2 pi here we have not d 4d that's why it's 8 pi d and multiply to the length it will be equal to 10 newtons now 2 and 8 will be cancelled to have here 4 so I can write that mu0 L over 4 pi D is equals to 10 Newton and mu0 L over pi D is equals to 40 Newtons now what's next next we'll try to find the force exerting on the second wire from the third wire F23 it will be equals to mu0 I2 I3 2 pi now the distance is D multiply to the length and mu0 multiply to 1 ampere multiply to 3 over 2 pi d the length and what do we have 3 over 2 mu 0 l pi d so from the expression above we know that this is equals to the 40 newton so we can find the magnitude of the f23 it's uh, 3 over 2 multiplied to 40 it is 120 over 2 60 newtons now F net will be 10 newtons it's F21 plus 60 newton it's F23 and F net of the second wire is equals to 7 
tin items. And it has a direction to the left. This is the second problem. Now, the third problem. Let's write the given. What do we have? We know the length of the string is 2 meters. It's not the length of the road. We don't know the length of the road. We also know that the mass per length of the road is 0 0.02 kilogram per meter. And we know the angle between this rope is 74 degrees. What else we know? Uh, that's it. And we are asked to find the current in each wire. Also, you must note that current on the first and second, they are equal to each other, but they are in opposite direction. So, this is the side view of the wires. And we know that the force must be repelled because currents are in opposite direction. Force. Also, note that force are equal because the length and the current are equal for each wire. Now, the distance between them is D. We don't know this D, but we can find from the trigonometry. And force here must be equal to mu zero i multiplied to the another i over 2 pi d multiplied to the length. I don't know what is L and I don't know the i and the distance. Also, I don't know what is force. But thankfully, we can find this from another equations. First of all, let's try to find d. To find d, I must use this triangle. So this is the side view. Here I have wire 1. And we know that this is the half of the distance between the wires. And angle is not 74, it is 37, half of the angle. And this is 2 meters length we said. Using the trigonometry we can state that d over 2 is equals to L multiplied to sine 37. Then d is equals to 2 multiplies to L. L is 2 meters. Sine 37 it is 0 0.6. So D is equals to 2.4 meters. We found what is D. And now we must draw a free body diagram for one of the wires. I choose the second wire. This is the second wire and I must draw forces exerted on this wire. This is tension and here weight and force. Also, I can write the components of the tension. It is T at Y axis, it's tension at X axis. And this angle will be also 
37. This is the half of the angle. Now, in the given, it's said that this system is in equilibrium. It means that all the forces along the x-axis and y-axis must be equal to each other. T x is equals to F and T y is equals to M g. We can rewrite this substituting the angle T multiplied to sine 37 is equals to F and T multiplied to cosine 37 is equal to mg and if we divide these two equations we get t sine 37 over t cosine 37 and it will be equal to f over mg and tensions can be cancelled out and sine over cosine it's tangent so I can state that F is equals to mg tangent 37. Now I have two expressions for the force and obviously they are same. So I'll write mg tangent 37 is equal to mu zero i squared over 2 pi d multiplied to the length and let's put the numerical values so we don't know what is m m g is 10 tangent 37 is 0 0.75 mu 0 is 4 pi 10 minus 7 i current i don't know and i must find this 2 pi and distance between the wire was 2.4 meters and I don't know the L now M I can write like this M over L multiplied to 7.5 it's 10 times to the 0 0.75 and the two pi's and four and two here are cancelled so I have only 2.4 here multiplied to 2.4 over what you have above two multiplied to 10 minus seven it's equal to the i square so I is equals to M over L we know from the given it is 0 0.02 multiplied to 7.5 and multiplied to 2.4 over 2 10 minus 7 this is all in a root what do we have this can be cancelled and we have 100 here sorry 100 not here we have 100 with the downside hundred is here so 110 minus 10 it's 10 minus 5 finally We've got an answer 1.34 10 to the 3 amperes. That is the answer. So this is the end of the lesson. I hope you've learned a lot from us. If you like our lesson, please subscribe and share.